All right, hi. All right, you're operating TP-438. Operating manual Century Series 420 and 424. Alco Products Incorporated. All right, this is from the collection of Tom Gardner's from the rr-flyonflags.org website. Um, operating manual Century 420 and 424. The manual covers basic operation instructions as to assist the engine man effective handling of the four motor century series road switching locomotive as per specifications the DL 640A 240 horsepower and the DL 721A 2000 horsepower description A information prevent, um, pertaining to the most important use of the specialties and contained here and end defined within the phrase if used the manual is written as so to complete the locomotives with or without the specialty equipment the information was furnished or based on the construction as date of the material was complied um, alright here's your we'll flip this one real quick real quick clockwise that is your century series locomotive All right, table of contents, general data, introduction, diesel engine, traction motor, traction auxiliary generator, traction motor, traction motor blower, auxiliary equipment, dynamic braking, if used, controlling operating handle, throttle handle, selector handle, reverser handle, hump control handle, mechanical interlocking between handles, um, preparing for operation before boarding an engine in the compartment, starting the diesel engine, and before moving a train, coupling with the units equipped with the 26L brake equipment operating procedure, moving a train, stopping a train. All right, reversing locomotive shutdown, diesel engine, multiple unit operation, automatic transi transition, throttle handling, wheel slip, air equipment, 26L brake equipment, recovery brake for after penalty applications. Operating 26L and S6, 6L24RL equipment with the multiple units, braking with um, power, auxiliary air equipment. Miscellaneous is operating instructions, changing operation ends, 26L brake equipment, dynamic braking operation, if you use dual cool control, if you use hump control, if you use fat, fat, fast, faster air pumping, emergency shutdown, engine shutdown, emergency fuel cutoff, operating through water, passing over railroad crossing, taking diesel engines off the line, anything the multiple unit operation, putting diesel engine on the line with multiple unit operation, towing dead locomotive, operating with lead, lead unit idling shutdown, operating with a dead battery on lead unit engine water temperature control, reverse emergency operation, traction motor cutoff switch, if you use handbrake operation, cab heaters, defrosters, circuit breakers, classification lights, emergency brake valve, Gauges and instruments, load meter speed indicator engine with water temperature gauge, engine with level gauge, water level gauge, air gauges, control air pressure gauges, automatic alarms and safeguards, low lubricating oil pressure, hot engine, low water ground relay, dynamic brake warning, if used, oil slip warning, crankcase, exhauster, journal box, heater indicator, diesel engine, overspeed, locomotive overspeed, if used, and this is your, uh, figure one shows the location of the apparatus, the 6420. And location of apparatus century um, 420. Engine one, two main generator, three auxiliary, four auxiliary generator, um, four auxiliary generator, five control stand brake valve, seven compartment control compartment, eight mechanical air clean engine air, nine air cleaner exhaust, ten mechanical air cleaning generator compartment air filtering system. Um, so 11, the fan generator compartment with the air filtering system, tra 12, traction motor, 13, radiator, 14, radiator, 15, radiator fan, 16, radiator fan clutch, 17, radiator shut, lubricating oil filter, um, 18, lubricating oil, oil filter, 19, 20, lubricating oil cooler, 21, air compressor, 22, main air reserve, 23, fuel tank, um, 24 fuel tank filling connections, 25 fuel oil filter, 26 sandbox, 27 sandbox fill, 28 engine water expansion tank, 29 engine water fill drain, and 30 batteries, 31 handbrake, 32 cab heater, 33 cab seat, 34 headlight, 35 classification light, 36 number light, 37 horn, 38 bell, 39 dynamic braking resistors, 40 toilet, 41 cab seat modifications. All right, location apparatus, Century 424, Figure 2-1, Part 1. Figure part, figure um, 2, Part 2, location of apparatus in Century 421. 
All right, one's your engine, two's your main generator, three's your accelerator, four's your auxilar auxiliary generator, five's your control stand, five, um, six auto brake valve, seven control compartment, eight in the mechanical air cleaner, engine air, nine air cleaner exhaust, ten mechanical air cleaner generator compartment air filtering systems, eleven fan generator compartment air filtering systems, twelve traction motor, thirteen radiator, fourteen radiator, fifteen radiator fan, sixteen radiator fan clutch, seventeen radiator shutter, eighteen lubricating oil filter, seven, eight, nineteen lubricating oil strainer, twenty lubricating oil cooler 21 air compressor 22 main air reserve 23 main tank fuel tank um 24 tank filling connection 25 fuel oil filter set 26 sandbox 27 sandbox fill 28 engine water tank expansion tank 29 engine water fill and drain 30 batteries 31 handbrakes 32 cab heater 33 cab seat 34 headlight 35 classification light 36 number light 37 horn 38 Bell, 39 dynamic braking resistor, toilet, 40, 41 cab seat modifications. Um, general data. Um, the central series, um, when, I, when I read the first one, it's going to be 420. When I read the second one, it's going to be 424. Classification A or wheel diameter. Um, classification A or BB. Um, wheel diameter, 40. Journal size six and one half. Track gauge four eight four eight and one four feet eight and one half inches. Engine data speed one thousand twenty five horse RPMs horsepower two thousand and twenty four hundred horsepower twenty four um bore inch and bore in inches nine. Stroke ten and a half inch. Cylinders twelve and sixteen. Capacity fuel oil tank twelve twelve thousand gallon. 12,000 gallons, 2,000 gallons. Lubricating oil per gallon. Lubricating oil gallons, 200 and 250. Governor oil system, 4 and 4, 4 quarts. Air compressor oil gas gallon, 12 and 12. Sand cubic feet, 28 feet. Cooling water gallons, 20, 250 and 320. Air brake equipment, liters, 26L. Um, principal dynam dimensions, figure 1 and figure 2. Track curve maximum multiple unit operation 30 degrees 30 degrees signal unit without train 39 degrees 39 degrees weight on drivers on pounds 240,000 pounds to 256,000 pounds for um, on total locomotives 204 um, locomotives pounds 240,000 256,000. Our introduction: The four motor rotating switch wing uh, switching locomotive is designed for the full, full high speed of freight um, service locomotive. Units control for the one cab diesel engine. Each locomotive is unit powered with a V V type nine and a ten and a half inch single action turbocharged model two fifty one diesel engine with a four stroke cycle, having an open combustion chamber with a solid fuel injection with the engine speed of the four hundred RPMs, one thousand two hundred fifty one thousand twenty five RPMs. Fully speed is governed with electro 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 hydraulic governor. These diesel engines has an L, uh, has an all welded steel frame, fully pressure lubrication. All product parts are provided with a pressurized cooling system. As used, the cooling water flows successfully through the engine radiators through the lubricating oil cooler. Is cooled circulated with the engine driven circuit. Central figure oil pump lubricating oil is cooled with the water and heater exchange with water in the fan of the cooler air radiator. Thermostatically, thermostatically cool. cool controlled radiator shutters with the fans and maintain destroy desired engine temperature automatically. Traction and auxiliary generator. The traction generator is directed with control with the diesel engine crankshaft while the auxiliary generator excited on the traction motors are given to driven gear driven with the generator shaft. The traction generator produces the produces the direct current for the operation traction motor with the exciter supply with the circuit uh, excitation system. The auxiliary generator rage furnishes the current of the battery charging and low voltage circuits with the lighting of the controlling auxiliary motors. Um Traction motor. Four mo traction motors are used. Each motor is supported by the axle, suspended by the bearing of the resilient support bonnet with the traction truck's transom. Um, sh shrunk on the motor armature shaft with the spinning gear, with the, which matches, matches with the drive gear passed on the wheel axle. Gear ratio between the pinion and the drive, rear drive gear expressed in two figures: seven forty-eight of a seventy forty-eight seven forty-eight. 7418 ratio. First number indicates the number of the teeth of the driven gear, and then the second number indicates the number of the teeth on the on the pinion. The transition is changing the traction gear control connections and controlled automatically. The motor the motor connections take place in the reverse order with the locomotive and the decelerating with the power on. 
The forward reverse movement of the locomotive is controlled by the position of the reverse. When the movement is the forward reverse position, of the reverse handle in the engine position it changes the direction of the current through the traction motor fields. Traction motor blower. The traction motor blower supplies the ventilation air from the traction motor on the both trucks. The blower is gear driven from the main generator auxiliary equipment of the road switching locomotive. The diesel engine dra and drivers and drives and the radiator fan through the eddy current clutch. Connections between the engine and the air compressor eddy current clutch are the flexible couplings. Dynamic braking. If used, dynamic braking if it is a means of by using the traction motors to produce the braking, and instead of the pulling effort, the motors are reconnected with the generator, and the power produced by them is dissipated as the heat in the fan blow resistor. The brake is usually principally on degrade, degrades the thrill lead, may be used a very good advantage from the slowdown. The resistor's assembly is mounted about under the engine hood above the diesel engine. All right, your control operating handles. The throttle handle has an idle and O position for the eight running notches in its position shown with the indicator above the handle. When the advanced throttle handle completely into the succeeding notch, do not leave it halfway between the notches. The throttle handle can be returned to the idle as rapidly as if as desired. The selector ha handle has an uh, has an off and an O switch, which has four monitoring positions on the left and the braking range at the right. It is positioned shown by the indicator at the top of the controller. It handles the off position, disconnects the traction motor, and power on braking circuits. Two handles the monitoring monitoring position number one. Set up with the monetary circuit. The transition will take place automatically by acceleration and deceleration. When in multiple units, with the units equipped with non superior supervisory automatic transition selector handle in the lead unit, should be able to remain in the number one transition position. Um, when the multiple unit, when the units equipped with the supervisor automatic transition, the selector handle on the lead unit should be placed with the selector position in number four. When the multiple units with the equipped with the manual transition selector handle should be moved over the, from the position number one up through the number two and three and four according to the operating instructions on the locomotive equipped with the manual transition handling and the brake range provided with the control dynamic braking. And if the locomotive is not equipped with the dynamic braking, a stop control prevents the movement of the handle in the braking range. The reverse handle has three position forward, off, and reverse. The selecting of the desired um, direction of locomotive movement to move the handle in the same direction as desired from the locomotive movement. Center position is off. All right, your hump control handle. If the, in off position and hump control range with the movement downward, no manual control transition with the selector handle. Manual control of the transition with the selector handle. Mechanical interlocking with the handles. Throttle handle can be moved to the idle position only when the selector handle is in the one to three, four, or four. One, two, or three, or four, and reverse handle ins is installed. Can be moved moved from the off in the number one position, regardless of the reverse handle position. Can be moved on the position number two and three and four only when the reverse handle is in the forward or reverse. All right. Um, your selector handle on units equipped with a dynamic braking selecting handle can be moved to the brake ranging only when the reverse handle is in forward or reverse. Throttle handle is in and the throttle handle is in idle. The reverse handle can be moved only when the throttle handle is in idle, while the select handle, ha select handler, selector handle is in the off in the number one position. Can be installed and removed only when if the off position in, in, in the off position. Hump control handle can be moved regardless of the position of above the handles. Preparation of the operation before boarding. Check the fuel supply. Check the proper position of annual cost and shut down. Shut off valves. Also liquids leaking with external piping. Check the loose and the dragging parts. Drain cons 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 condensated from the main reserve. Check the connection with the air hose and the jumper cables. You fuse multiple unit operation. See dynamic braking unit selector switch. Multiple operation and coupling units equipped with the 26L brake in engine compartment. One inspect to see that the no rags, tools, and lanterns um, are etc. When the air shaft, the other moving parts, or electrical or apparatus, never use the waste on the locomotive. Lubricating old drain valve that must be closed. Check all the diesel engine locomotive oil level. The bayonet gauge show, sh should show the oil between the high and low marks. Four, the cooling water drain valve must be closed. Six, five, check the quantity of the wa wa water in the cooling water system. Liquidated liquid o meter attached with the water expansion tank should be shown with the water at all times. And the engine operator, um, into the engine governor operates for the hydraulic oil pressure of the reserve oil and the governor base is equipped with a two side glass that the oil level should not be low. Not be below on the lower light sight glasses. Not be on the top of the sight glasses. The emergency fuel cutoff switches must be closed. Depress the emergency fuel reset push button operation cab. 
Hey, radiator shutters and fans automatically control such engine water control tem water temperature control. Check the water check to be sure that the um, control air and air compressor governor and loader cocks are open. The engine overspeed trip handle must be in the vertical position, which indicates the overspeed trip is set. With see the diesel engine overspeed for the reset instructions. Check the air compressor oil level. Maintain the oil level for the fuel mark of the bayonet gauge and the dial gauge with the engine shut down. All right, starting the diesel engine. Close the battery switch. The switch is located with the lower right co right corner of the comp control compartment. See that all the circuit breakers on the control compartment panels are closed. Toggle the switches in the engine control stand and compartment will operate the lights. Move the throttles at the idle. Move the uh, reverse selector to handles so they off. And then the, the ground relay cutoff switch must be closed, and the ground relay indicating pointer must be over the red dot. If the trip with the trip, see the ground relay instructions. The traction motor cutoff switch, if you should be indicate all in. If in any of the positions, see the traction motor cutoff switch instructions. Eight. Turn the engine control switch to idle. Close the control fuel pumps and breakers. Reset and set the multiple unit stop run button, emergency fuel cutoff button. These controls are at engine man control stand. 10. Starting indicating light located directly over the starting button will light the en until the engine is started and oil the pressure closed with the pressure switching the engine control switch and the start button. Starting indicator light are mounted on the front side of the control compartment. Note if the engine control switch is running position the fuel pump and the brake is closed, the alarm oil will ring and the oil indicating light will light in, in, in addition to the starting indicator light. The no battery charge indicating the light will also be on the end. Be on if the engine is stopped. The engine control switch is in the run position. All right, 2011. Push start button between the crank engine. Hold until the crank engine will start indicating the lights go on. Warning: Release the start button before the lights go out. Will stop before the out, lights go out. Will stop the engine. Do not discharge the battery by repeating repeated attempts to crank. If the first and two or three two or three attempts are not successful, recheck complete starting pre preparation. Uh, opening crankcase is octer circuit breaker located in the control compartment panel crankcase exhaust or light will be on check the engine lubricating oil level to keep level between the high and low marks on the bayonet gauge but with the uh, engine idle and crankcase exhaust or shutting off the locomotive on the level track close the crankcase exhaust or circuit breaker make sure the um, sure crankcase exhaust or light in the control compartment is on the off the panel is off move the engine control switch to the run position all right. Before moving a train, install the brake valve handles in the reverse lever. Check the main reserve air pressure. Check the control air pressure normal 70 psi. Move the brake pipe cutout valve to the front or pass passenger position, de depending on upon the intended use for the locomotive. Place the multiple unit two valve in the lead position. Make the brake application release handle brake. The dead engine cock must be in the live position. Test the standards. Make the air brake test for have at least 120 degrees Fahrenheit water temperature if possible before notching up. Alright, coupling units with the 26L braking equipment. On the lead unit position, all the switches, breakers, and cutout cocks at the same uh, for the single unit operation. Multiple, multiple, for place a multiple unit 2 valve in the lead position. On trailing units, see all the circuit breakers on the controlling compartment or panels are closed off. Make sure the control of fuel pump and the generation field circuit breakers located on the engine control panels are off. Throttle at position made on the idle. Select your hand in the off position. Reverse handle must be in the off position and removed. Place the multiple unit 2 valve in the train trail 26 position. Place the automatic brake valve handle in the handle off position and independent brake valve handle in the release position. Remove the, both the handles and position the brake valve cutoff of the valve in the cutout position. On all units engage the couplers, connect air hose and multiple unit jumpers in between the units and open the airline cocks. Operating procedures. Moving a train. Close the generator field switch on the engine control stand. Move the reverser for handle forward to a reverse position depending on the direction desired. Move the selector handle to position one. Select their handle for the position of home control handle. See the home control depress safety control pedal. If used, release the brake and open the throttle. All right, stopping a train. Move the throttle to the idle, um, the handle to the idle. Apply the air brakes. If the engine position of the move or the selector reverse handle is to be off. Reversing the locomotive mode. Bring the locomotive to a full stop. Move the selector handle to the number one position. Move the reverse handle to the opposite direction. Release the brakes and op open the throttle. All right, shutting down diesel engine. I open the generator field switch located with the engine main control stand. Move the engine control switch to the idle position. Three, press and hold the stop button located near the st um, start button on the control compartment one until starting lights um, starting lights light. 
4. Apply the handbrake or release the air brakes. 5. Open all the other switches, circuit breakers at the engine control stand. 6. Open the, batter open the battery switch, engine stop button of the engine control stand to be used with the emergency stop only. Multiple unit operation when operating single unit, but the consistent of these units, multiple unit loses the radiate rail adhesion with lower speeds, but the tends to protect the attraction motor against the overload and no minimum speed needs to be observed. When operation units are different from the minimum continuous speed, the engine must not operate with the units below the minimum continuous speed on of any unit with multiple. When some of the units of the power matching feature is provided, Power matching feature if used when operating with multiple with multiple units different minimal continuous speeds lower horsepower the power matching switches should be in the on position automatic control reduction power of these units should use these as thus obtained therefore the continuous traction after power motor will match the lower powered units under these conditions the minimum continuous speed of the lower powered unit with continuous may be observed note that the power matching switch must be in the on position note that all the units in the consist with the lower powered units prior to the operation. Lead unit power reduction, if used when they're operating, operating and under the conditions where the adhesion available to the lead unit less than available to the trailing units, the lead unit power may be reduced equivalently to the one throttle notch without affecting the trailing units. The accomplished by the turning the power reduction switch to the on position while the wheel slip equipment wheel slip equipment will operate less frequently, promoting smoother and train handling, reducing sand consumption. After adhesion conditions improve, the power reduction switches could be returned to the off position for the normal and full power operation. All right, automatic transition. The units are equipped with the automatic transition, placing the selector handle in the position number one permits the automatic transition to take place predetermined locomotive speeds during acceleration and decelerization. Transition offensive is follows: starting motors connected with the series parallel. First event, the motor field shunning. Note that on the type 424, 15 steps of field shunning are provided with the series panel with a short shunt controller responding to the generator current. Second event, the motors connected in parallel. Third event, the motor field shunted on type on type 424 steps. And steps the field shunning are provided with a parallel. The shunt connector controller responds to the generator um, current. All right, your throttle here. An, in heat, an, an inherent feature of these locomotives provide the throttle control with the track of effort. The other offers the two advantages. First, affords the engine man the ability to control the throttle notch position, the amount of the track of effort is developed, and the second, it provides the positive protection against excessive load current with the traction motor and generator. The proper use of the feature offers the most improved track and handling as well as protection to the electrical equipment. It is important that the engine man thoroughly understand the proper use, and since it does not require slightly different throttle handling than any other type of the locomotives or not so equipped for um sorry how it equips for each of the relevant position definition maximum lead current with the corresponding traffic effort must develop and the increase of the throttle advance from one of the position the next is immediately removed the since the power of the troll track of effort for the locomotive is divided in eight steps available for the eight throttle notches necessary to advance all the way in the eighth notch in order to develop the full track of effort further since maximum current is controlled the perfect phase safe of the sphere for as electrical mechanical equipment concerned to advance the throttle rapid into the eighth notch. In fact, it is not only desirable but necessary under certain um, starting conditions. How how it's to be used? It was well understood the worst treatment that can be given to attraction motor to allow is to stand at a stall, conditioning an appreci appreciable length of the time load be current applied to it. If there's therefore a more important having given due to care to increase the brakes or release the train slack is to one start the locomotive to mo to move as quickly as possible and accelerate the speed, which will bring the load meter pointing her down into the green zone, minimizing time. Therefore, making a start, it is good practice to advan advance the throttle promptly to a notch that will start the locomotive equipment. If the after starting acceleration is too fast until the certain that all the slack in the throttle may be backed off as required, maintain the desired locomotive speed. As soon as the slack is out, the throttle may be advanced as fast as desired to suit the op operation conditions. Or starting passenger light trains for normal start, starting passenger light trains. No appreciable difference in the throttle handle will be noted with the other type of equipment, except for the immediate response obtained by the each of the throttle not, not to advance. 
Normal starting in a heavy train is normal. It is necessary to do the bunch of the slack. The train is known to be stretched as soon as the brakes are fully released. The throttle should be revanced immediately to whatever notch is restore, required to store, start the movement. The adjustment up and down but the, to suit the desired operation conditions, bearing in mind desirability and acceleration for the train to move the, where the load meter reg, reg, re, registers the green zone in the minimum time. For a normal level, good starting if no movement is obtained with the throttle has reached in the fifth or sixth notch. The shut off of the throttle recheck the engine sure that the brakes brakes are fully released starting heavy trains on a severe grade and it's kindly necessary to take um, as much as seven to five eight notches out to make um to make a start the engine must be of course use the due care handling of the train slack at the time of the power application to ensure the brakes have released they assured himself of the slack of the brake condition he should have no hesitancy in advancing the throttle quickly to even the eighth notch to get the train moving when the load um, current will be high and the control set limits are valued the corresponding to approximately the maximum short time is shown in the load meter the important thing is to have get a locomotive move, moving and keep it moving uh, keep a minimum length of the time during the heavy load current is applied with the motor before the starting of the turn All right, your wheel slip, um, wheel slip adhesion and loss detection. An event with the wheel slip while the locomotive is monitoring the power, it automatically reduces the proportion of the severity of the slip. Power is re re reapplied as the slip is arrested. The action will be advanced in oscillation of the load meter. Two, when the wheel slip control function for any of the reasons is sand is automatically applied until the slip is arrested. In the event of the repetitive slips, the manual sanding may be used. In the event of steps one, two, three, fail to automatically correct the slip with the predetermined time, approximately 10 seconds, and audible visible alarm will be given in all cabs. Throttle should be reduced until the warning stops. Five, when using a locomotive airbox with the throttle in the idle, loose adhesion sliding of the locomotive will result in the immediate audible and visible alarm in all cabs. Six, a continuous wheel slip warning may be indicated with loading locked axle. The check should be made to ensure the free rotation of the wheel locked with axle protection provided with all the units coupled and multiple, with including the isolated units provided with the battery switch and main control positive and negative breakers are closed in the isolated units. Seven, in dynamic braking, if you use the loss of the wheel adhesion cost, is the dynamic brake effort to be uh, auto automatically reduced. And in the uh, unit effect, also an audible visible alarm occurs immediately. All cabs persisting that the proper wheel is indicated with the covered in the event. Um, that repetitive sleep indicator of the dynamic braking brake effort should be manually reduced in all rail until rail conditions adhesion improves. Or your air equipment, the 26L brake. The 26L brake the 26L brake equipment consists primarily of the automatic brake valve, the independent brake valve, the brake valve cutoff valve, the control, um, the contrail, con control air valve, with the control valve with the multiple unit two air valve. If used in details, equipment vary, vary on the different different railroads to meet the specific operating requirements. One, the automatic brake valve is a self-lapping um, valve with the sixth position, namely release, minimum reduction, service suppression, and handle off an emergency. The release position, extremely left of the position, um, position of the brake valve handle conditions of the brake valve to charge with the brake pipe to control air valve with the setting of the liability overcharge if used releasing the automatic brake application. B. The minimum reduction pos um, pos position provides a reduction of approximately 6 to 8 psi pressure if an equalizing reservoir in which it turns reduce the brake pipe um, similar brake pipe pressure similar similar. Service position consists of the second of the handle of the move of the brake lace of the brake pipe of the bre pressure of the pressure load of the minimum reduction intensity of the service brake appl application is increased if the handle is moved to the right. Suppression position is used for the purpose of multiplying safety control over speed train control brake and application with the allowable penalty time. If the brake valve handle is placed in the suppression position just prior to the penalty application, a penalty brake application might be avoided. However, the brake valve is designed whenever the handle is placed in the suppression position, a full service brake application will be obtained. The handle off position is the sector of the handle of the movement reduces the brake pipe pressure to zero. The various valves are obtained to make the inoperative the normal operation functions of the brake valve. The brake valve handle can be removed in this position. Emergency position is extreme right with the position of the brake valve handle in which the brake pipe is vented at the fastest possible rate to produce an emergency brake application. 
Two independent brake valve self lapping the two um, position release and application leakage automatically control the ensure the breakage and release due to leakage whenever the brake valve handle is in set in position to of any application zone of the valve of the automatically lap when the applied pressure reaches the valve corresponding to the position of the handle depressing the handle in the release position currently releases of any of the automatic brake applications existing of the locomotive the brake valve cutoffs have two to three positions in out and cut out or front and pass and front and passenger in the in, in the cutout position the brake valve is cut out and interpreting the flow of the air from the relay portion of the brake pipe in the pre position with um in the position of the positive movement the brake pipe leakage can be made with the brake valve handle with an appropriately server service brake pipe application position turn off cut off valve the cutout position when the brake pipe exhaust ceases this will prevent the brake valve from maintaining leakage and a time measure can be taken for a normal operation of the locomotive the cutout valve must be placed in either the freight or passenger position depending on its intended use for the locomotive for the control air valve is operated with the cam with the brake valve handle with such with the regulator to develop the pressure of the equalizing reserve the charging of the pipe with the movement of the brake valve handle from the least position of the surface sector of the um, CIs of the valve to reduce the equalizing reserve pressure portion of the handle movement and adjustment equalizing the reserve pressure in the release position is made and adjusting the knob of the rear of the regulating valve portion this valve is self lapping auto will automatically maintain pressure develop in the valve against the over charge and the leakage Five of the control valve is an automatic valve capable of responding to the surface rate and emergency rate of the chain of the brake pipe pressure, and thus develop the brake cylinder pressure of the brake pipe reduction reference the control reserve of the pressure. 26F contains the graduated release cap of the two position graduated GR or direct or DIR. The applies automatic release of the locomotive, which will be graduated from the passenger light surface from the direct into the direct and and direct in the heavy freight surface. Multiple unit two um, valve, if you three position valve applied with the 26L equipped with the locomotive permitting, it's operating with the 26, 24, and 26 equipped locomotive. The three position marked with the lead in the dead of the trail six and two six and trail two four with the locomotive's operating single with the lead of the unit hauled the dead end of the train. The valve must be positioned and let it lead or dead with the operating of the train. Unit, uh, unit behind the two six and the two six equipment, the valve must be up to, um, positioned with the train trail six and two or two six. When the behind two or four type equipment, the valve must be positioned on the trail two four. All right, the safety control pedal is located uh, if used located on the floor or the front of the engine man seat. The pedal must be depressed at all times, except when, except when the locomotive is stopped or 30 pounds more brake cylinder pressure exists. The pedal is released during operation. The safety control switch whistle sounds at two or four seconds but during the time of the pedal on the depressed, preventing brake action. Otherwise, the full service application of the brakes will be made. Eight reduction selector valve, if used and associated with the device, provides the automatic split, split, split reduction during the penalty of application for the overspeed. If used, the dead man safety control. If used, the train controller. If used, when the train freight passenger cutout cock is in the freight position. Dynamic brake interlocking furnished with the dynamic braking equipment. If used, the release of the preventing automatic brake application from the locomotive. Dynamic brake is an independent brake application. Release for the locomotive brake available at all times, irrespective of the dynamic brake operation. Note railroad specifically conditions and that operate with the interlock pneumatically controlled switch and fused with oper air operating electrical switch penalty applications of the air brakes of such as emergency safety control, etc. We'll trip the switch from return with the diesel engine to the idle to the idle. The switch is reset automatically and as soon as the brake pipe recharge and the main reserve air pressure drops to forty PSI. Real specified to conditions that operate the switch. All right, recovery of the brake after penalty application. Place the brake valve in the suppression position. Close the throttle to the idle position. Depress the safety control bottle. If used, allow the application pipe to build the main reservoir pr pressure. Re release the brakes. Operating with a 26L and or a 6SL or 24RL equipment in the multiple unit. When operating locomotives in multiple units, the uh, units uh, having a 24RL brake equipment must be head to those head of those you having a 6L SL or a 14 EL equipment the or 414 EL equipment breaking pipe in the to of the 24 RL equipment must be approximate appropriately modified with the appro operating at one of these brake systems multiplied by the 26L and provisions of your fuse available for the 26L equipped that units may be leading with the trail with the mentioned brake systems 
If the unit trailing behind the locomotive is using a 6SL brake with a multiple unit 2 valve with the trail 6 or the trailing unit with the 24RL placed with the multiple unit 2 valve with the trail 24RL or a position. No, the 26L and the 24RL and the 6SL whip locomotives are operated with multiple units. The following hose connections must be made. Hose connection. The 26L is the brake pipe, actuating pipe, the MR equalizing pipe, and the BC equalizing pipe. The 24RL is the brake pipe, actuating pipe, the MR equalizing pipe, and the independent application and release pipe. And the 6SL brake pipe blank and the MR equalizing pipe and the BC equalizing pipe. All right, braking with power. Gradually, I apply automatic brakes with light brake br pipe reduction. Recently, re release the locomotive brake, depressing the independent brake valve handle to into the release position. Reduce the throttle to maintain load meter pointing. The green band monitoring scale of the train speed decrease. Move the throttle to the idle before the train becomes to a dead stop. On the locomotive with a multiple unit with the with the ma manual transition transition locomotive, move the selector handle into the position of corresponding to the speed of the locomotive. All right, auxiliary air equipment, locomotive bell valve. The bell ringer operating with the valve is located near the brake valves controlling the air through the main and reserve of the operating with the pneumatically bell ringer. The horn valve, the control valve of the horn is located with the ceiling of the cab. The controls main reserve air pressure the, to the horn and pull rope is its operation. Conveniently located with the engine man's position, the shutoff cock valve of the horn is located above the cab floor and is accessible in, accessible in the inside of the cab. Sander valve. The sander valve is located with the engine man position provided with the forward and reverse sanding of the both trucks. The valve has an on and off position for the forward and reverse sanding. If the unit is equipped with multiple unit, one sander valve provides sander unit to all units. Direction of locomotive movement, the accomplished electrically through the through the reverser. The sand cutout cock with each of the truck each truck is located under the frame of, over the leading wheels in the front of the truck and trailing wheels of the rear truck. On the same unit, the electrical switch mounted with the engine man position with the forward and neutral reverse position operates the standard directly through the magnetic valves. Um, note that once on some of the toggle switches located on the gauge, gauge panel in front of the engine man provides the operation of all standards in case of the emergency shuts as a pl plugging operation. All right, your windshield wiper valves. A needle valve located on each of the windshield wipers to provide independent control of the speed. The shutoff global valve for the air su supply of the wipers is located with the cab floor of the accessible through the hinge door of the outside of the cab. The control air reducing valve air from the number one main reserve is reduced to 70 psi through reducing valve located with the control air pressure gauge of the back wall of the contactor compartment. This is the pipe to operate over the reverser series and parallel contactors and the dynamic braking switching if used. All right, miscellaneous operating instruction: changing the operating ends of the 26L braking equipment on an in unit on unit being cut out. The make a 20-pound brake pipe reduction, moving the automatic brake valve handle to the service position. Move the independent brake valve handle to the release position. Observe the brakes at the still applied. Move the brake valve cutout valve to the cutout position. Move the multiple unit two valve to the trail six or two six when trailing six or two six equipment, and the trail two four when the trailing two four equipment. Move the automatic brake valve handle to the handling off position, move the both handles, re release the, place the reverse handle in the off position, remove it, then to do this necessary put the selector handle in the off position and the throttle in the idle position. The engine control stations on control generator field back and breakers leaving the fuel pump breakers closed. Note that on some of the units equipped with multiple units with the units on other manufacturers control breaker must be left to close until the control of the fuel pump brakes are closed with being cut at, cut out. Cut in. All right, on one unit being cut in, insert the reverse handle with the controller, leave the off position, or insert the automatic and independent brake valve handles, multiple um, MU2 valve with the lead or the dead position, move the brake valve with the cutoff valve at the front, or right, freight or passenger position, depending on the service intended, move the intended brake valve handle to the full application position, move the automatic brake valve handle to the release position, close the control fuel pump breakers in the engine man control pump, open the fuel pump breakers on the being of the cutout, note the, on the open brake current, current control breaker, see a note above. 9. Close the generator field breaker on the engine man's control panel. 10. Place the foot on the safety control panel if used and replace the independent brake. Release the independent brake. 
All right, the dynamic braking operation. If you use while well, when all, when and all units are equipped, they automatically control the dynamic brake. The engine controls the application for the dynamic brake with the selected handle. The oh, after a full braking position has been reached, the brake is automatically regulated to develop a maximum available braking effort at any speed without many manual attention. Selector handle must be may, must be advanced um, slowly through the bra braking range, and if the brake, braking current builds up too rapidly, the hesitated advance do not back off. The unit current current is steady. An effort manually reducing the back, back braking current would be, probably cause the hunting condition. Advancing the selector handle to the brake range and the engine speed will increase the fourth throttle notch, thereby providing the uh, additional code cooling of the traction motor. The operation of the affecting dynamic brake of the train, similar to the locomotive independent brake, air brake brake pipe. Uh, Effort as applied with the locomotive, only the same precautions are bunched in the slack and preventing slack run out as required. All right, your dynamic braking limits the high speed, um, high speeds maximum braking must be reached with manual to yellow dot on the load meter. The following table lists the speed for all gears, gearings, um, a 70 mile an hour gear, and the restriction yellow mark is 56. The gearing at 80 miles per hour is a yellow restricted yellow mark of 64 miles per hour. 86 miles an hour gearing is yellow marked above at 68 miles an hour. All right, to apply the dynamic braking, move the throttle to idle. Have the reverse handle with the forward reverse depending on the direction of the motion. Move the selector handle to off, then do the big D in the braking range. The load meter will show the slow, slightly movement. But once the train slack advancing, the selector handle cautiously with the brake braking do not allow. Load meter point to exceed the first white marker on the green scale until the all slack is bunched. After the slack is bunched, advance the selector handle slowly back in the range until until the desired braking effort is reached. The maximum braking effort is desired and handled in its full on position, making the handle movement is slowly. Six. Uh, the amount of the brake effort obtained the variables of the train speed, the obtained and maximum braking performance, the selector handle must be moved into the full on um, position. While the selector handle is in the full on position, the braking effort will increase to speed decrease until the reach of the maximum value approximately 25 miles per hour for a 70 mile an hour gearing. If maintaining the maximum value of the few miles per hour, after which will gradually fill, fall off at 0 to 0 miles per hour, the speed range maximum brake effort for the other gearing is false. 28 miles an hour is for 880 miles an hour gearing or 3 to miles an hour for 86 mile gearing mile per hour gearing it is imp it is permissible um, to start the, from a standstill on a downgrade with the dynamic braking a lot applied when braking in a heavy train with a um, serve gear, severe grade, the maximum dynamic braking may not be sufficient to hold the dra desired train speed. Application of the automatic air brake may be used in addition with the dynamic braking and desired train speed. The dynamic braking interlocking will be hold locomotive brakes released for the any position automatic brake valve other than emergency. Said so dynamic braking interlocking pneumatically control switch. Release of the dynamic brakes when not using an air brake. Reducing the brake slowly proves that the load meter pointing indicates that this first and white mark on the monitoring scale. Monitoring motoring scale of the prevent slack and run out. Two handle cannot be can now be moved to the off and into motoring um, and into motoring. Release the dynamic brakes during the automatic air brake application to maintain the desired um, speed of the severe, severe air brakes application with automatic brake applicant applies use supply of the dynamic brake however no automatic air brake is possible for locomotive while the using the dynamic brake flat wheels may result with the locomotive if the independent brakes are applied while the using the dynamic brakes see the dynamic brakes interlock with the pneumatic control switch when releasing the dynamic brake after the automatic air brake um, application has been made to press the independent brake valve handle into the release position and then move the selector handle into the off position then the independent brake valve handle may now be released after this operation the independent brake valve operation locomotive may be applied if desired it's caution if the dynamic brake is released by the depressing of the independent brake valve handle um, a rapid lo locomotive brake cylinder under pressure buildup will occur possibly resulting in a low locked axle or flat wheels all right, your release of the dynamic brakes with the emergency air brake application is specified with the railroad. The emergency air brake application will initiate it with the brake valve handle with the, from the train. The dynamic brake brake will actually actual automatically be cut out when the emergency air brake application will be made with the locomotives as well as the train. Under these conditions, the engine should run selector. Handle to the opposition as promptly as consistent with the operating instructions. 
cut out dynamic brake switch and the engine control switch. Um, the engine control switch is turned with the idle dynamic brake and the unit is an operative with the cutout dynamic brake. You're using it only with the selector hand over the opposition avoid the search of the equipment over the train for the same reason the dynamic brake must be not be cut in except for the selector handle in the opposition. Alright, dynamic braking with the lead u unit leading idle on shutdown. Load meter load meter will uh, will not operate if the lead, lead, lead unit is cut out, keeping the idle uh, idling of the conditions permitted. Maintains the battery charge, air pressure, air engine temperature, etc. For ignition on lead unit, use the uh, until unit C the operating with the lead unit and idling and shutdown. Operating in multiple unit locomotives having manually controlled dynamic brakes. Operating in is an in unusual manner if the brake warning light operate indicates the braking light brake limit has exceeded the train trailing unit, the engine must reduce the braking point um, reduce the braking to a point where the where the light will not operate. Alright, dynamic braking unit selector switch. When operating the um, ALC the American Locomotive Company's units multiple place on the unit selector with all the all units in the number one position do not install the field loop dynamic braking jumper between units. Two, when operating in all the American Locomotive Company um, unit, units, multiple multiply the units of the other man, other than manu, other manufacturers. Place the unit selector while the on all training trailing units in the number one position. Place the unit selector switch on the lead unit of the corresponding with the number of the units and consists. So install the field loop field loop dynamic braking jumpers between all the units. All right. Your dual control if used when two operating control stations are applied with the same cab of the fuel pump, the brake, the control brake, or the generated field switches are wired in series. Therefore, where the breakers or switch are referred to in the operating instruction, they must be operated at both stations in order to obtain the desired function. The hump control if used, the device's means by which an engine can be obtained with the press's con precise control of the traffic effort of the permits for the close control, close of the control loan train speed of the humping service that is in the humping service. General service is using while well, but the helpful in the starting uh, starting trains under the difficult conditions. A small controller mounted with the control stand as the means for the humping control obtained. The handle of the control can be moved from the, from the off and on maximum tractive effort position through the JCC. The decreasing range to the full on minimum attractive effort position by moving the handle down to the off position, the tractor effort will reduce the below the tractive effort, deciding the throttle the farther the handle is moved, the downward greater than the traffic uh, effort reduction. All right, for humping services, um, have a handle on the home controller in the opposition start the train in a normal manner advance the throttle only to the notch required to move the train at the proper humping speed leave it in this position as the train becomes lighter gradually move the home controller downward to hold the proper speed when the hump controller reaches the full on position reduce the throttle to one notch and move the hump controller toward the off to hold the proper speed observe the load meter and short time overloads for heavy duty service, um, following the two methods of using the home control and the heavy duty service because of the variation in the type of the service, it's difficult to predict the best method to use. Therefore, suggest that the engine man select one of the best suited for the particular case. All right, the first method is with throttle in the notch. One, move the hump control handle to the on position, advance the throttle hand, handle fairly rapidly until the eighth notch and reach un, unless ease of experience indicates that the lower notch is sufficient. Move the humper controller handle to the off position until the train begins to move. The train speed can then be uh, can be further increased or controlled by the handle movements. When the train is started, the hump controller handle should be in the move in the off position unless control with the tractive effort is necessary to get the traction without wheel slip. All right, your second method is start the train in advance throttle in a normal manner. And we'll, if the wheel slips occurs at any notch, leave the throttle in that notch. Reduce the tractive effort from the moving of the hump control down from the off position. After the wheel so slip stops, move the hump controller to the, toward the off, switch, off position to obtain the traffic effort as they can be applied without slipping. If the train picks up the speed, move the humper controller to the off position operating normally. All right, fast air pumping. Generator field switch located with the engine man controller stands must be off. The reverse handle must be in the off position. Selector handle must be in the position one. Open throttle is desired to, up to the notch five. The compressed governor cuts out with the short interval with the pumping indicated with the higher engine RPM is being used and necessary with the air being consumed. 
Alright, your emergency air engine emergency engine shut down. The stop run, stop run switch is located with the engine man's control stand. The red it, when the red stop button is pushed, it will shut down the engine and unit and simultaneously all the other engines of the multiple unit locomotives is provided with emergency use only. Normal shutdowns should be made with the engine shut stop button located on the control compartment near the engine control switch. To restart the engine of the single multiple unit locomotive after shutdown or emergency stop button run switch, reset the switch from pushing a pushing in the black button run button. To start the engine of any of the unit in the normal manner after the first um, turning of the engine control switch to the idle position, hold the start button until the starter indicator later light goes. The lube oil pressure light and the alarm bell will continue continue as long as the engine control switch is in the run position. On the any shutdown uh, on any shutdown unit, if the engine control switch is returned to idle on all the units, the low oil light will not will not light and the alarm bell will not ring. No, on some older models, the electrical interlocking circuit prevents the operation from the engine governor unit until the engine and control switch is on. All oper units are returned in the off position. All right, your emergency fuel cutoff. The um, three fuel cutoff switches is connected with a series of fuel pump connect uh, contactor provided with the two switches are located on one each side of the locomotive near the fuel tank, one on each of the cab. Monetarily pressing any one of the switch buttons, it will stop the fuel pump from shutting down and shut down the engine. Reset switch is provided with the operating cab and should be pushed to reset it before the engine is restarted. Operating through water, do not exceed 2 to 3 miles an hour if the water above the railhead do not pass the water over 4 inches above the railhead. Passing over the railroad crossing and to um, serve the mechanical so shocks received in the traction motor when passing over the railroad crossing at a high speed because brushes are to bounce and flash over of the traction motor at high speed, reducing the throttle to fifth notch and below while all the units passing over the crossing. This is not necessarily at a low, sp at a low speed. It's also desir desirable to reduce dynamic braking at high speeds over crossings for the same reasons. All right, taking diesel engine off the offline in the multiple unit operations. Turning the engine control switch to idle position. If it becomes necessary to stop the engine, press stop button on the control compartment. Open the fuel pump and exhauster breakers on the control compartment compartment panel. Putting the diesel engine on the line in the multiple unit operation. If the engine has been shut down, start it in, start it in a usual manner. If necessary, to start the engine with the lead unit while trailing in the other way. Move the throttle into the idle. The throttle may be advanced as soon as the start button is released. It is, it is desirable to allow engines which have been shut down and attaining low 125 degrees water temperature before applying the load while the engine is warmed up. The turn to engine control switch to the run position. All right, towing dead locomotive in the freezing weather, the drain engine, water system braking equipment on one or more of the dead units, which are in multiple unit living lead leading unit, should be set up with the most same the living trail unit. The recommended that the brake equipment on each of the unit of dead lo um, mo multiple unit locomotive, which is not in multiple with a live unit, should be set up as a single dead unit as follows. Drain all the air over the main main reservoir air brake system. Move the brake pipe cutout um, to the cutout position. Multiple unit valve to the dead position. Place the automatic brake valve handle in the handle off position. Independent brake valve handle in the release position. Place the throttle in idle selector in the reverse valve in the ha off position. Move the reverse handle. Place the dead engine cock in dead position. Place re release the cap of the control valve should it be in the direct release position. Connect the brake pipe hose on only. All right, operating with the lead unit idling for shutdown. To operate with the lead unit on internal engine control switch idle, to operate with the usual manner, however, the load monitor will be in an operative to operative lead if the unit shall shut down. Turn the engine control switch to the on the lead unit to idle. Close the battery switch on the lead unit. Close the main control negative battery breakers on the lead unit control compartment panel and the closure lighting brakes only as required. Open all the circuit breakers of the lead unit control compartment panel. Close the control breaker with the fuel pump with the breaker with the generator with the field switch on the lead unit engine man's control stand. Dynamic braking will be inoperative with the lead unit since the dynamic braking with the lead unit is down. When the engine dead when the end, with the engine dead, the battery charging the generator will cease to function. The battery voltage will weaken even enough a few hours to prevent further locomotive operation. In case of all the above conditions, the trailing units are the same as normal. 
Okay, operating with a with dead battery on the lead unit. Turn the engine control to switch to idle. Open the battery switch. Open the electrical cab heater with the circuit breaker. If used, open all the circuit breakers of the control compartment panel, except the headlight, cab light, and engine room light breakers. Open the fuel pump breaker and close the generator field switch and co control the break. Open the fuel pump breaker and close the generator field switch. Control breaker on the engine's control stand. On any one trailing unit, close the fuel pump controller breakers on the engine man's control stand. Make out sure all the circuit breakers and control compartments are closed. Contain caution. Do not use more than one headlight control breaker may trip. Engine water temperature control. The water temperature is controlled with a single radiator fan with a pair of the radiator shutters located on the engine hood of the locomotive. The speed of the fan position with the shutters are automatically controlled with the temperature of the water leaving the diesel engine. In the event of the shutters failed to operate automatically, they are operated manually with the first closing cutout cock of the shorter ma shutter magnet valve. The air is automatically bled from the following from the system from allowing the free position. Of the shutter vanes that may be blocked in the desired position under no conditions should the fan be operated with the shorter closed. Reverse emergency operation. If the reverse fails to operate, to turn the engine control switch to idle on the unit effective the throwing of the reverse or pressing the magnet valve button right magnet from the movement in the direction of the short hood, left magnet from the movement in the direction of the long hood. If there is more, more not effective, remove the uh, manual operating handle with the brake inside with the controlling compartment. Insert the handle in the hole provided with the operating lever on the top of the operating shaft. Move the right into the movement in the direction of the short hood with the left to the reverse movement. Or your traction motor cutout switch. If you the traction motor cutout switch is located with the control point with the connected with the control circuit provided with the cutting out of any motor one motor per pair of motors in either truck or the permits of the cutting out of the bad motor of the truck pair motors in the event of the traction motor failure. The throttle must be in an idle position before operating with the motor cutout switch. Power of the unit is automatically restricted for the motors are cut out with the event of the ground relay trip. The motor cutout switch may be used to isolate the trucks and set of the trucks to determine the location of the trouble. Your handbrake option. To apply the brake, operate with the hand level upper and the br pumping action until the brake is set. It's not necessary to demand any play trip lever if any of the while the braking is applied. To release the brake, push the hand lever in as far as back as it will go. Leave it in there. Do not push against the handle with the retard. The releasing action, pull the trip layer upward, outward, and holding it only for the clean chain weight with the rubber snob comes up against the bottom of the brake hosing. If the chain weight is in rubber snob, does not return the bottom of the hosing. Reset the brake and then repeat the releasing procedure. Are your cab heaters and defrosters located on the right and left side of the cab? The defroster and damper, the rheostat switch, the controlling heater, the fans are located on the heater. Your circuit breaker. Circuit breakers are used on all circuit control circuits with that will trip open whenever the overload circuit occurs. The breakers are suitable identified or located with the engine man position on the control compartment panel. If the circuit breaker should trip, the handle of the app approximately midway on the on and off to reset the move the handle of the on position and then to the on. In some cases, it may be necessary to wait a few minutes before the breaker can reset. Are right, your classification lights? Um, Century 420. Um, the classification lights are permanently installed on each of the four corners, four front and rear of the locomotive of the body because of the angle of the lenses are visible both from the front and side of the locomotive. At the rear, the two colored lenses, the red and green, are arranged in each, of the, each way, and the turn may be swung between the light and clear glass lens to give it a desired color indica ind indication. The colored lens is accessible throughout the small doors and the hoods are moved and pushing upward over the knob and at the bottom of the light path assembly, rotating it increase from the 90 degrees of the color indication of the desire to switch can, cab lights can turn cab turns on both the classification lights the front individual lenses the lights and each of the three colors are provided with the control switches for each of the aspect mounted to the access door on the front wall of the cab all right, your Century 424 classification lights will individual lenses with three colors permanently installed on each of the four corners of the front and rear locomotive body because of the angle of the lenses are visible both from the front side of the lo front and side of the locomotive aspect control switch of the rear lights the control compartment of the control switches in the front of the lights are mounted to the access floor of the front wall of the cab. Emergency brake valve. The valve is located with the left hand of the corner of the operating cab. The, the handle is operated with the brake pipe and is open to the atmosphere to provide emergency brake application. Or your gauge is an instrument. Load meter is a color band the device used to be and guide the indirect locomotive operation. Motoring band, the power position of the color band indicates the relative amount of the tractive effort being developed in the motor locomotive. Also, with the load currently of the traction motor green zone represents the normal operation of the zone operating with the tra tra time or, or 
restricted. The yellow zone indicates a short time cyclic capacity for the traction mode of the point of which for the color band change from the green to yellow indicates the end of the continuous rating. Short time loading operation overload ra rating for the gra graduate should shown in the time of the minutes various loads and the beat may be carried. Greater load the shorter the lo time load allowed. The maximum time allowed for the yellow zone and if it is indicated the other marks in the yellow zone indicate with the maximum time allowed for the pointer and that these positions and the pointer remains between any two numbers the maximum time allowed must be as estimated by the operator. If load change, the operator must judge that he used the full allowable time with the yellow zone. For example, if he has one ha only half the time when you use the one load before it is changed, um, the allowable time maybe the new load will be only one half the indicated time. When short time um, load has been used with the full allowable time, the load must be reduced and use the pointer in below the yellow triangle, which appears near the upper end of the green band. Load must be held on below yellow line for at least 20 minutes before another overload of the yellow zone may be repeated. If practice is not allowed to follow, the traction motor may be seriously damaged. Speed indicator has a speed scale which indicates a locomotive speed in miles per hour. Engine water temperature gauge, a dial indicator located with the left bank of the headwater of the diesel engine, normally operating temperature for cooling water from 150 degrees to 180 degrees. The engine water level gauge, a dial indicator located with the cooling water system, expansion tank of the gauge is accessible through the small door of the right hand side of the engine hood at the right radiator right, right end. Air gauge is located from the gauge panel of the engine man's position. One gauge indicates the brake pipe, pipe and the brake cylinder pressure. Um, the second gauge indicates the main reserve and equalizing air pressure. Control air pressure gauge mounted on the back wall of the control compartment should indicate 70 psi loss of control air pressure prevents the operation with electromagnetic contact with the locomotive movement. Right, automatic alarm and safeguards and single multiple unit operation alarms is provided with the following lube, low lube oil pressure, hot engine, low water, ground or chirp relay, wheel slip, um, no battery charge. Alarm alarm bell is 1, 2, 3, and 5 will sound and all cabs bar warning with lights will be operating and effective. The unit warning lights and buzzers for items 4 will indicate lead cab as well. Unit is affected. All right, your lubricating oil pressure. If the oil pressure drops between 30 psi below the oil pressure, switching the shutdown engine around this alarm sounds the alarm bell, lighting the green lube, lubricating oil pressure light, starting indicator light on the control compartment. All right, a hot engine. When the engine cooling water temperature reaches 185 degrees, um, the hot engine red indicating light located in the control compartment will light. The alarm bell will sound. When the engine cooling water temperature reaches 200 degrees Fahrenheit, the engine will return to idle. Low water. If the engine cooling water level is an expansion trip, drop the predetermined limit. The engine will shut down. The hot engine light, red light indicate will light, and the alarm bell will sound. All right. Um, your ground relay, ground re per power circuit operated with the ground relay to return to the engine idle sound for the alarm bell light. White ground indicate the um light of the control compartment. The your pointer on the ground relay will point in the red dot. The pointer that can see through the window of the plate with the covering of the relay and it's located with the control compartment. To reset the ground relay, turn the engine on the control switch to idle. Push the ground relay button. Turn the engine control switch to run. And ground relay starts. Continue normal operation. If the ground relay s continues to trip, the motor cutoff switch, it may, if we use, may be isolate the full scene motor circuit. For example, the reset ground lay outlined with the two above the term motor cutoff switch is in position one out. Reapply the power. If the relay contains, continues to trip set, follow the same procedure for the motors two and three and four of the track. Truck pair of the motors under extreme um, emergency conditions. Reset the ground relay outlined in two above the open the ground relay cutout switch and control compartments. Move the locomotive no further than necessary, observing the smoke and the overheating of electrical equipment in the multiple unit operation. The unit should be taken offline. Repeat ground relay tripping when they indicated with the traction motor failure that might result in locked axle. The check checks should be is, um, made to ensure that all the wheels turn freely. All right, your dynamic braking warning. If you use the dynamic braking limit is exceeded, any of the trailing equipped with the automatically controlled braking of the brake light in the browser it will operate. The cycle selector handle must move from the point where the light will not operate. Wheel slip warning. The wheel slip relay operates. Wheel slip light buzzer will operate the power of the automatically reduce supply with the further information. You can see the wheel slip. The crankcase exhaust. The yellow crankcase exhaust or light located on the control compartment should be in the office. Off continuous to indicate the exhausters if the running of the lighter of the on show. The light on the on see the crankcase exhauster brake is enclosed. The brake is closed and report the condition of the exhauster is not running. The engine should be shut down when the trouble corrected. 
All right, journal box heat indicator. Heat indicator is installed in the housing of the journal box. Journal box is emit the plunger order, pungent order for the journal box temperature at 250 degrees. The diesel engine overspeed. The diesel engine overspeed. Overspeed mechanically located with the free end of the engine right side of the operator with the shutdown switch. The trip release of the spring loaded shaft to the turn re rotates the fuel pump control shaft to the full shut to shut off the full fuel supply. Return the set to handle the clockwise as indicated by the arrow. The locomotive overspeed, if used, the three types of locomotive overspeed devices being used, an overspeed speed signal at the axle generator will automatically indicate the service brake application. If the speed limit is exceeding, the setting is exceed, the engine warning lights will limit light in three miles per, miles per hour above the maximum load speed. Overspeed signal with a micro switch is in a speed recorder with the initiating the service brake application. If speed limit is, is exceeding. And three, an overspeed signal from the spe speed governor of the train control, which initiates the service brake application locomotive exceed the maximum speed of the block signal, block sorry block condition of the three system, operating on the pick um, on the PCS switch, causing DC en engine to return to idle, recover the brake, brake, and recover the brake after the penalty application. That w this has been a reading of the operating manual century seri century series to 420 and 424 all, all American Locomotive Company products incorporated.